Hey YouTube, in this episode, we're going to create the image on the left using the same prompt we used in the last episode in mid journey and build it out in HTML and CSS. So what we're going to build looks like this. We're going to use Figma to create this so that we can easily get all the properties and CSS out of Figma and into our HTML and CSS. The first thing we want to do is just draw out the panels that make up the grid and adjust the border radius to match. Then we're going to move it to the side just so we can access the colors easier. And we're going to change our fill to linear gradient and then use our eyedropper tool to select the start and end value of our linear gradient. So next I'm going to create the drop shadow. I like to do it a little different and this is actually similar to how I'm going to approach it in the CSS and HTML. So I duplicate the element and then I add a layer blur to it. And then I'm going to increase the blur, I play around with the fill opacity, and then tweak the blur a bit more to try and match the visuals. The reason I do it this way is because I can add multiplies so we can add different blend modes specifically to this layer. Then once I've got something I like, I move it to the back and then I just group them and I can reuse this with all the other panels, just changing the in inner gradient. There we go. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to create a new frame and move it off to the side. Then I'm just going to set the background color and draw basic shapes so I can get the gradient for those background blobs. So that looks pretty good. The next thing I want to do is focus on this image. So because this was generated in mid journey, the image is rather small and pixelated. So we can't really scale it up very well and get good resolution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upscale it using a plugin that I created. And the way that you do this is you draw a mask over it, make sure that it's square because that'll work best. Then we just send it to back and select both it and the image and use as mask. Now that we've got our square masked image, we can open up the plugin. This plugin is called Dreamer. And what it does is it utilizes stable diffusion to generate new images based on existing images. So we just do use selected image and make sure that's checked. Then we'll type in a prompt describing what we want the image to look like. So we're gonna say a digital painting of a sailboat on a lake. Then we simply click dream and it'll generate the images. So this is what we got on our first try, um, which looks pretty good. This seems usable. Um, we can also go back and generate more images. You can increase the number of images it generates to four and go ahead and retry it. So this one actually looks even better. We can go ahead and use that and move it into our design. So that matches up pretty good. I think this is good enough for us to start building this out. So because our layout's basically a grid, we're just using CSS grid to create a two column layout. Then we're just creating classes for each of the different gradients and the image background that we have. Then for the drop shadow, we're using a pseudo element so I can specify the the color, the opacity, the blur, and the blend mode all independently. For the background, I thought we'd have a little fun. So I'm going to use a fixed canvas element as the background to draw the blobby shapes and animate them subtly. So we're just initializing our canvas element, setting its size, and then drawing in the different gradients that we need. 
So initially the purple is the background color. I'm setting various color stops. Then we're doing the orange. And for these, the orange and the white paths, we're using some math to create the sine waves that we draw and then animating them over time. So with every frame, we increment a delta, which influences the animation and the position of our sine waves. So it's just some sine waves being combined, multiple sine waves to create a fluid kind of dynamic blobby simulation. And so here's how that looks sped up. And here it is all together. So you can see we've got all our gradients, some nice little animations, interactions. But that's basically it. Thanks for watching.